Hello, good day everyone. I am Muhammad Muzaffa from D Triple E F T Two B O Seven. Today I will be doing the early e-learning maths part four for the e-learning week. Now we shall proceed to what we will be covering today for the e-learning part four. Okay, so basically today I will be covering the characteristic of both trapezoidal rule and the Simpson's rule. Similarities of both the rules, differences between trapezoidal rule and the Simpson's rule, advantages and disadvantages of the rules, and also the summary which I will use to summarize what I will be covering today. Okay, so the characteristic of the trapezoidal rule. Trapezoidal rule uses trapezoids to find the approximate value under the curve. The range of integration is divided into n equal distances. The integration is equated into the sum of the areas of the trapezoids. Now I will show you the graph and formula of the trapezoidal rule. As you can see, the linear function x is the linear function x of the trapezoidal rule is approximated to the line to the blue line. And this is the formula for the trapezoidal rule and this is the function x which I'm talking about. The function line here, the blue line here as you can see. Alright. Now we shall proceed to the Simpson's rule. The characteristics. Quadratic equations or parabolas are used to find the approximate values of the area under the curve. The range of the integration is divided into an even number of equal distances. The integrated quadratic function is then equated to the function of an ordinate value. And this is the graph for the Simpson's rule. And of course the function fx is approximated to the value of the curve graph, curve section of the graph here as you can see the blue line. Yes, that is considered the fx. And this is the formula of the Simpson's rule. Now we shall discuss the similarities of both the rules. So basically they are used in the computation of numerical integration. The range are divided for analysis into equal parts. Both the values are derived only are only approximations. So this means actually the values which we actually derive from the graphs are only approximations. They are not 100% accurate. Okay, the differences between the two rules. The trapezoidal rule uses a trapezoidal method which uses a linear function to make the reading of each of the curve as accurate as possible. While the Simpson's rule uses a parabola method which uses quadratic equation to make the reading of each curve as accurate as possible. So this is the advantages of each rule. The trapezoidal rule has a greater advantage when it comes to measuring a more linear graph which means less curvy and more straight since accuracy is greater for the rule under these conditions which is actually is representing linear function as you can see from this graph over here yes so it means it's following these straight lines here so it means the more linear the graph the more accurate the reading will be while for the simpson's rule the simpson rule has a greater advantage when measuring a more curvy graph which means more curves and less linear since accuracy for this rule is greater under these conditions. It, it's more accurate when the graph is representing quadratic functions. And so this is the graph. 
So this means the more curvy the graph, as you can see from Px here, but for this fx, so it means the the more curvy the graph, the greater the accuracy of the reading or the approximation will be. <clears throat> and so this is my summary for what I said to you today or just now. Similarities. They are used in the computation of numerical integration. The range are divided for analysis into equal parts. Both the value are derived are only approximations. There are differences. As you can see, like I mentioned just now, trapezoidal rule gets greater accuracy when measuring linear graphs, while the Simpsons rule gets greater accuracy when measuring curvy graphs. And this is the formula for uh, a trapezoidal rule. And this is the formula for the Simpsons rule. And so I thank you for your time and attention. I am Muhammad Uzava. See you around. Have a nice day.